Okay, out here on Penswood, right in front of Dead End, which is nice. You don't have anybody coming down around there. Now down around the corner and up the street a little ways, a lot of rental properties, but they're not really in close proximity to you. Show you the house here. Nice extended driveway. 144.9 is what they're looking for. This one, 1,483 square feet, three beds, two baths, just came on this morning. Concrete's all in pretty good shape. Nice little sitting area out here. Let's take a look inside. Right. Your front door here. Now you are just on a slab here, so no basement space or anything like that. There's your front room right off to the right side of that front door. You have laundry space, attic access right there. There's your furnace, and they got some updates listed in here. It's a 2019 furnace, 2018 six foot privacy fence in the back, 2015 the new water softener, 2013 a new water heater. A little bit of corrosion there tells me that it's been. Something there's been leaking, but that's something you can address during inspections. It's not a huge, huge deal. Um, 2012 was the roof. Decent flooring there. Nice doors going out to the back. This will take you to your garage. Let's take a peek there real quick. Decent size for a one-car garage. Um, Drop-down attic access right there. Yeah, not too shabby. Electric panel's been updated. You are just 100 amp service here, but plenty of knockouts still. Take a peek at the backyard real quick. It's a nice shed, keeps you from having to put lawn mowers and such into the garage and burn up space there. Our air conditioner, however, is older. Two thousand four looks like. It's not in terrible shape. Just a little older. But it is going to be getting on the end of its life, so that's something to keep in mind. Side now, this all just kind of wraps around. So, the front door is over there, laundry room there, and then your kitchen. It's a decent sized kitchen for a galley kitchen. This isn't bad. New fixtures on there, they're updated. Cabinets definitely aren't original. This is a uh, 1968 built house, and then opens up into big living room here. Dining space here. Circles right back around to our front door again. Coat closet here. Check out the bedrooms. So there's not a whole lot to this house. It's really, really nice, but it is small. Um, tile work is nice. Vanity's nice. It's a lot of tile, but it's still nice. He did a decent job with that. And then swing to our bedrooms here. It's your master. A double size closet. bath, tile floors, six panel doors all the way around. A little bit older tile work in here, but it's not like the blue or the pink or the black or something like that. It's pretty tasteful. Big jetted tub. And your windows I do want to take a look at.
So these are older aluminum frame single pane windows. They're not um, a vinyl two pane and they've got the storm windows on which help a little bit, but you're gonna need new windows before long. Second bedroom here. Yeah, they are all old school aluminum frame windows. So in the wintertime, the problem with those, they're not sealed, they don't seal very well. The single pane, they get drafty. Um, you don't have that layer of protection or insulation against it getting too cold in the house. And prices for new windows vary. Depends on what you buy, who gets it, uh, who gets the job done for you. And I normally will say, you know, plan to spend a good amount of windows in here. Um, plan to spend between five and 10,000 on the windows. Look over here. Yeah, so that's kind of it. So probably the shortest video I've done for you so far. Not a bad house, but it is small. Having the two living spaces is nice, though. That helps out a lot. All right, I'll get this uploaded and sent over to you.